right. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it. Keep all on. Honestly, they drive me round the bend. All right. Greetings, citizens. Greetings. The prologue. Now, today is a big public holiday in Pompeii. A big public holiday. It is the festival of the Vestal Virgins, or commonly known as VV Day. <laughs> now, please, now, please, don't mess about. I don't know the tone of it already. Now, <laughs> VV Day. Now, every year at this time, we choose a maiden from among our women folk, a maiden who is pure in mind and body, a maiden upon whose fair skin man's hand has never set foot. <laughs> <laughs> now, th this lucky girl will receive a prize, and she will be crowned Miss Miracle of BC <laughs> 72. Now, the prize she gets will consist of a thousand drachmas, a week's holiday in Rome, and a night out with Mark Antony. <laughs> now, if after this her status is unchanged, she will return home and she will join the, us the other Vestal Virgins in the temple. And I'm sure that both of them will be glad to receive her. <laughs> now, in BC 72, you, in H. Oh, I was just working you, myself up then. You. Oh, yes, Master. I, 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 I. Yes. Calm down now, I'm, Master. I'm, I'm, oh, you, I'm, I'm, I'm all out of breath. You what? You what, sir? I'm all out of breath. I know you're coming in short pants. <laughs> he is. That's not a gag. That's not a gag. Look, he is. Look. <laughs> you should be wearing as long ones this time of the year. There's a cold wind seething round the Acropolis. No, 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 you can do with a good wheeze about this time. Actually, no. Poor old devil, no. No, the trouble is, you see, he's been overdoing it. Or perhaps I should say he's been over-trying to do it. <laughs> the is... No, the thing is, he's got this a burden. He's got this additional burden because he's been made the chairman of the committee that's got to select these festal virgins, you see. And he's passed it. Oh, I mean, he's still, he's still got an eye. He still looks at a pretty girl. But, you know, there's no fire in his eyes. They're all bunged up with clinker. <laughs> <laughs> what he needs is a good riddle. <laughs> Better now, Lucky. Ah, master. Oh, uh, oh uh, Lucky. Yep. I shall need your help. Yes, master. Well, you see, the master of ceremonies for the festival of the Vestal Virgins hasn't turned up. Oh, dear. Mm. With us nobody to introduce things. Oh. Uh, you will have to do it, Lurkio. Well, I can't do it, Master. I'm just going to do the prologue. Oh, well, I, I can't help that. This is far more important. Oh. Damnation! Damnation! Oh, it's that dreary soothsayer. Whoa! Whoa! Poor soul, she's lost her horse. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dreary woman. What does she want? I don't know. Yeah. I know what she's likely to get, Master. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yes, so I can tell. Yes, I shall stand upwind of you now. The gods have given me a sign. Yes, they've given us one too, dear. <laughs> no soothsaying this side. So please a sooth off. Would you mind? <laughs> the festival is doomed. No virgin will be found in Pompeii this day, and the gods will be angry. Fire and brimstone will rain down on the city. The very ground will tremble. And all shall perish in the destruction. And that is the end of the weather forecast. Ah, <laughs> oh, silly old bag. <laughs> she is, mind you. It's, uh, she, well, she can't help it because she's had this. Uh, she had this very unhappy marriage, you know. Oh yes, her husband was a centaur. <laughs> oh, so, no, a centaur. That's. Let's wait a minute and find out what it is. <laughs> Because you could be wrong. In fact, you are, Mrs. Now listen, a centaur is half man, half horse. And you see, unfortunately with her, poor soul, the top half was horse. <laughs> no, don't laugh. It's not funny. Because when he got the bit between his teeth, 
There was no stopping him, and he wasn't particular which bit of her he was, either. <laughs> You nephew, what on earth was she talking about? No virgins to be found in all Pompeii. Oh, what is absolute balder dash? Oh, I've never heard dash so balder, yes. yes. I can think of quite a number. Yes. Uh, well, there's my, my friend Catullus's daughter. Oh, a delightful child. Yes, <laughs> Master, she's the only thing she can. No, no. Yes, definitely. Oh, tut, 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 tut. Yes, all bags of tut in the catacombs. Oh, no. Well, 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 there's that fair girl that lives down the road. You know, the one with the big... Yes, but she's also got a big, you see. Yes, also down the catacombs. Oh, no. Oh, it's rife, it's rife. Oh, no, no, what a terrible thing. Oh, well, anyway, I'm sure there'll be plenty of contestants when the day arrives. Yes. And anyway, we mustn't forget my dear daughter... Erotica. Oh, no. Well, no, don't forget her. Don't worry. She mustn't be overlooked, you oh, know. Don't no, worry. No. She hasn't been overlooked, believe me. <laughs> oh, quite, quite. Why does... Oh, oh, look you, is that the time? It's a bit fast, uh, when we... more or less. <laughs> yes, Master. Master, look, must I do this job? Uh, couldn't do it? I'm sure the real MC will turn up. No, not a chance. No. Tis said his ship is foundered on the rocks. Oh, Master, no, the, co the coast is clear, isn't it? What's that? I said the coast is clear, isn't it? Why, well, yes, come on up. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? A whole ship has to be destroyed so she can get a laugh on her entrance. It's only you, dear. Oh, my dear Ramonia, I trust you're ready for it. Oh, why, Ludicrous, you haven't said anything to me like that since our honeymoon. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 no, 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 I meant the, 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 the festival of the Vestal Virgins. You are coming, my dear, aren't you? What? As a spectator, mistress. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, I wouldn't miss that for anything. Go on, go on, my dear. Oh, me, I can remember the year I was chosen. <gasps> what a remarkable memory. <laughs> There's not many people that can remember things that happened in their early childhood. Let's face it, not, not that I'm suggesting she, she was promiscuous. Oh, no, but it's no secret that she was known all around as Madeira because she was a piece of cake. <laughs> Prologue. Ah, in a... Hello. We'll rest here for a minute. Hello, hello. Now, you see that dark one there? Now, that is Noxius. Noxius, he's the keeper of the Ludi Puorum Club. That's boy of the play club. <laughs> Funny place. The girls there all walk around topless, topless. Oh, yes, if you want to play, you have to bring your own top. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, now, the other one next to him there, the pretty plump one, now, he's piteous. Here, yeah, what are we waiting for? You see, you're wrong, it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, give a little, take a little. The thing was, no, listen, you see, it's, it's a sad story, because he was in this war in Britannicus, and unfortunately, he got a bit too close to Bodicea's chariot. <laughs> and it cut off his retreat, and he's in his... <laughs> Hello. They're up to no good, I'll be bound. I must tell my master, Ludicrous. Ask him. Excuse me. Pardon? Excuse me. Yes? Is this the house of, of Ludicrous Sextus? Yes, it is the house. Thank you. You're welcome. He's got a funny voice, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be tactful, wasn't I? I was trying to make him feel one of us. It's the last time I shall help the underprivileged. Mercio! Yes, master! Oh, dear, I hope it's not catching. <laughs> ah, so that's where that old fool ludicrous lives. You mean the senator that wants to abolish all bawdy houses like yours? Yes, but please, try not to talk so much. You might train something else. Oh, I'm going to get even with him today. I'm going to make of him the laughing stock of the whole of the Roman Empire. How? Well, you know that he is responsible for selecting this year's Vestal Virgin. Yes. Well, I have discovered that so far there are only two competitors entered for it. Yes. Well, what I've done, I've paid them to keep away, see? And I've got two of my girls to take their place. <laughs> but if they're your girls, they won't be virgins. I know that, you old fool! That's the whole point! When those two girls get up on that platform... Oh, never mind. Come on. Lucky-o! Lucky 
Romeo. Yes, mistress. Mm. Come in, mistress. I have need of your services. Oh. Mercio, Mercio! Oh. Mercio, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Yes, calm, master. I tell you, no, I tell you. We should we should never finish the show at this rate, will we? I can't I can't I can't find erotica anywhere. She she she's not in her room. Oh well perhaps she hasn't perhaps she hasn't returned home yet, Master. Oh what time did she go out? Uh yesterday evening. Yesterday evening. You see, it is catching, you see. Yesterday up high there. You mean our daughter has been out all night? It's all perfectly innocent, ludicrous. She went on one of those night excursions to Vesuvius to see the red hot lava flow. Oh, yes. You know with, don't you? That young gladiator's stupendous. And you won't... <laughs> you won't find a bigger red-hot lava than him, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, well, I can't wait any longer. No, I must get down to the forum. You'd better wait for Erotica and bring her. Yes, I do so want to, uh, to enter for the festal, Festival of the Vestal Virgins, you know. Uh, come along, Lurkio, yes, yes. come along. Uh, Lurkio? Yes, mistress. <laughs> Come and sit here a minute. Yes, mistress. I don't want you to uh, let Erotica enter for the competition. What, for the virgin competition? No, I don't. I don't really think she's um, <laughs> suited to that sort of thing, do you? Oh, no, definitely not. I mean, I mean, she's lost, uh, she's lost the, uh, she hasn't, well, I mean, what's the word? She's, she hasn't got the, the, she no longer has the competitive spirit. <laughs> Exactly. Well, it, well, it isn't that I don't trust her. Oh, of no, of course. Oh, no. No, but well, then she does know an awful lot of young gladiators, and uh, I know what winning ways they have. Yeah. <laughs> Here now, the wise words of Plautus. It is a well known fact that if all the girls who went out with Roman gladiators were laid end to end, no one would be at all surprised. <laughs> Eyes down for a full domicile. <laughs> Moon and sun, 31. Moon and sun, 31. Corn of plenty, number 20. Corn of plenty, number 20. Scots and Picts, 66. Oh, you read her! Yeah. You read her! <laughs> Blessings, my son. You have won a Grecian urn. <laughs> What's a Grecian urn? Five drachmas a day. <laughs> what do you mean it's an old gag? It was new in these days, remember that? <laughs> Folks, we come to the main event of the day. Yes, it's Phoebe time! <laughs> Judged this year by your own, your very own, Senator Ludicrous Sextus! <laughs> by that well-known slave about town, Lurkio! <laughs> and for you, Lurkio, tonight, opportune artists, knockers. <laughs> well, he's got a better part than I am. It's not right, you know. It's a better part than I've got. Now, thank you for that tumultuous welcome. May I now introduce the virgin competitors for this festival. Will you please mount uh, the dais? <laughs> Only two? This is virgin on the ridiculous. <laughs> please yourselves, all right. Will the first competitor please step forward? That's not, that's just very shy. Now, don't be shy. Now, uh, tell me, uh, what is your name? Tishia. Tishia. How do you spell that? With two T's. Oh. But they're not pronounced. Pardon? They're not pronounced. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> now, teacher, teacher, I want you to say truthfully and honestly, a qu answer a question. Now, are you pure and mind of... Now, I'll say it again. <laughs> a little bit again. Now, it's a lot to learn all this, you know. <laughs> now... It's putting me off. Don't you turn that way. <laughs> no bra or anything. 
Now tell me, Titia. <laughs> no, that's not right, it's not. <laughs> Take seven. <laughs> now tell me, Titia. Now tell me, are you pure in mind and body? Well, of course I am. <laughs> Oh, that which was right. You see, the gods are angry because the girl lied. Down with Ludicrous! Get him out of the cell! Down with Ludicrous! Oh, now, please, let us deport ourselves with decorum. Oh, I'd like to deport you and Ludicrous! Oh, oh, oh. No, silence, silence, please. There's been some mistake. Will the second and last of the virgin competitors please step forward? As for you, go home and wash your mouth up with soap, you naughty Tisha. <laughs> Are you sure we've got the right ones? Oh, I certainly hope so. All oh, right, you can stop your motor, dear. Now, tell me, um, <laughs> tell me, um, what's your name? Virginia. Oh, that sounds more hopeful, doesn't it? <laughs> right, now, um, tell me now. Uh, are you pure... No, um, <laughs> let's rephrase this, shall we? Now, don't, now, take your time. I always do. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, is the ought that you ought not to have ought? <laughs> yes. And not being caught. No, it's a horse <laughs> that you were not to have done had you been able to do it but said no at the time. You see, now you have 30 seconds to answer. Well, I don't need 30 seconds. I'm a good girl. <laughs> Oh, well, welcome to Dodge City. Oh, yeah. oh, what a disgrace. My first year as chairman and not a virgin to be found. Look, you, what? you must go straight back home and bring my dear daughter, Erotica. Your daughter, Erotica? Yes. Yes. What's the good of bringing her? What do you mean, what's the good of bringing her? Well, I mean, she's not a... I mean, she... Oh. How can I tell him, poor old devil? I mean, it's a bit Come awkward. along, come well, along, like you speak up, well, speak up. You see, look, your daughter erotic, and now yes. human nature being what it is, yes. and after all, accidents will happen, you know. Yes. Have you considered the possibility that she might not be? Yes. At home. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, find another virgin somewhere. I willingly pay 500 drachmas for one. No. 500 drachmas. 500 drachmas. Do you know I could buy my freedom with 500 drachmas? Oh, dear. 500 drachmas now. Where to find one, though? The Virgin Islands. No, that's too far to go. Uh, <laughs> Alice Springs. No, that's the trouble she always does. <laughs> Cork. No, that gag's been cut. Uh, uh, I suppose one of you wouldn't care to volunteer, would you? <laughs> Is there a virgin in the house? There must be one. <laughs> Must be one now. Yes? No. Eh? No. No what? Why it not? Is a well-known fact that in those days audience participation was restricted solely to putting their thumbs up. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What is the use? I've interviewed every female between here and the forum. All I've got so far are ten peals of thunder and 20 latch keys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, you'd think, wouldn't you, there'd be, there'd be someone it, pure in mind and body, even here. Oh, cruel, cruel world. Hello. <laughs> oh, dearly, I would love to leave it. Ah, now, this is my master's son, Norseus. Norseus, strange boy. Oh, very strange. Likes to write poetry. That's his trouble. Doesn't know what he wants to be. He, she, or it. Excuse me. <laughs> Ah, young master, what's the matter? Oh, Lurkio, I'm desolate. Are you? Desolate. Why? What's a miss? A missus before marriage. A missus before marriage. <laughs> <laughs> they get all the best lines. I must have this stopped, you know. It's not right. I'm sorry. No, I'm oh, sorry. Lurkio, I met this most beautiful young maiden. And now she pays me no heed. Pays you no heed? See, I've inscribed an ode to her. Yeah, but well, I thought you might have done. Oh. Ode to the fair malaria. <laughs> oh, what a pretty name. Oh, how my heart turns over whene'er I see her pass. Oh, yes. 
get ready. <laughs> Those lovely dimples in her cheeks and the others in her knee. <laughs> I was lost for a word to rhyme there. Yes. <laughs> well, you're, the, you're the only one who was, I might say. <laughs> You see, you need more background material. There you are, sir. <coughs> so now she will have naught to do with me. Ah, no wonder you're cross. You see, naught crosses, naught to cross. Oh, <laughs> come on, don't doze off. Come on, keep awake. Do you know why she's given me up? No, why, said he, turning into a straight man, for which I want to see the scriptwriter after the show. <laughs> why did she give you up? Because I wouldn't do what she wanted me to. Oh. Oh, and what did you what did you want her to do? Stop or not stop? <laughs> oh, please don't joke about oh, it, Lurkio. No, I don't understand, girls. No? They only seem to want one thing. Well, y judging judging from my inquiries recently, they've been getting it too. <laughs> I can't seem to make them understand that I'm just not that kind of a boy. Oh. Oh, I see. Do you mean to say you've never sort of... a bit of, you know, under... <laughs> never been in the catacombs for a bit? I mean, you know, you've never... never consorted with a girl? Why, of course not, Lurkio. Well, not even the odd Sunday consort? <laughs> Physical love belongs to the blissful state of marriage. Yes. And I'm saving myself for it. Yeah, it's strange, isn't he? Isn't he strange? <laughs> no wonder he's saving himself. Nobody else would bother to, let's face it. <laughs> Now, isn't it just my luck? The only person I find pure in mind and body is a boy. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder. It might work, you see. One of his mother's wigs, one of his sister's gowns, a bit of his father's sticking plaster, and... <laughs> I should be ashamed. But who could tell the difference? <laughs> Master, if you're besotted to this girl, if you're in love with this girl, um, why don't you marry her? Alas, I have no money, Lurkio. No money? Oh, how fortunate. How would you like to earn yourself a hundred drachmas? How? Oh. How, oh, yes. Come into the, the building and I'll tell you. Come inside. And I'll get a hundred drachmas? Oh, if you play your cards right, you'll get more than that. <laughs> You'll get a week's holiday in Rome and a night out with Mark Antony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 citizens, citizens, please. There will be another contestant here in a moment, I promise you. You said that half an hour ago. Where is she? Sir, sir, sir. Citizens. Citizens, we have a new virgin yes. here. Carry on, Virgil. Yes. yes, a new competitor and the last one. Now, uh, citizens, I present to you the lovely, untouched by human hand, uh, Delilah. Come along, Delilah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, a warm hand for Delilah. Now, there we are. Now, all right. Don't forget you promised to have me away immediately afterwards. Yes, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> right. Citizens, pay attention now. Delilah, will you tell us all, in one accord, if you are pure in mind and body? Yes. <laughs> He's done it. Or rather, he hasn't done it, if you see what I mean. <laughs> If you'll excuse us, we have to catch a matinee at the Coliseum. So will you excuse us? No, no, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. What? I must present the award. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> yes, yes. As chairman of the selection committee, yes. it is my proud privilege... <laughs> my proud privilege to, pre to name you as Miss Vestal Virgin of BC 72. <laughs> Oh, dear. He's been depuffed. <laughs> Honestly, you must feel a right Charlie, don't you? It was the right Charlie, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Let's get out of here, quick! <laughs> <laughs> young lady, young lady, 
I'm most terribly sorry. I can't think what happened. Well, mm -hmm. you see, these things, punctures happen the best of surface, so don't worry, Master. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I'll, I'll get her home now, yeah, yeah, you yeah. see. Yes, oh, well, she can't go home yet. She has to go to the Temple of Esther. Oh, she can't. I mean, she has to go home to feed the kids. Feed uh, the, the kids? The, uh, the kid goats. <laughs> yes, she's a goat herd. A goat herdess, <laughs> aren't you? Well, I can't help that. The High Priestess has to initiate her. Oh, yeah, ah, no, you don't initiate him, do you, dear? No, of course not. It's against religion, isn't it? Oh, of no, no, course. no, Lurkio. It's quite a simple ceremony. The Vestals disrobe her and, and, dis, and then they initiate her in the circumscribed manner. Oh, she had that done when she was a baby, didn't she? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. No, look, um, I'll get a chariot, Master, a chariot, and you go and powder your nose or something. Powder your nose. Excuse yes. me. I'll get a chariot. Yes, you get the chariot. That's right. Oh, like you, like you. She's gone into the wrong one. Yes, well, um, she's so pure, you see. She doesn't know the difference between men and women yet. That's the trouble. <laughs> Now I can see daylight. Oh, excuse me, Senator. I could not help overhearing what you were saying just now, and we would be glad to be of help. Of help? Yes. <clears throat> yes, we have a chariot outside, and we would be glad to take the young lady uh, to the temple. Oh, no, no, I couldn't think of putting you to that trouble. No, no trouble at all, Senator. A pleasure, in fact. <laughs> Aha! There she is now! Come along! Oh, no, my no, dear! No, 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 but that, 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 that. No, I can't, I can't think of that. Now, I've got the chariot. Has she come out yet? No, no, she's gone to the temple. Gone to the temple? Yes, two men came and took her off in their chariot. What? The, oh, no! Oh, Master, you can't. That was, that was Nauseous, your son. Yes, 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 I know. That maiden was Nauseous, your son. No, that Nauseous, my son. In the temple of Vesta. Oh, the disgrace. Oh, oh, what a terrible shock. Oh. Mm, what a shock for those Vestals. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they start to circumscribe him. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> You are, my dear. Oh, you're going to have a lovely time in there, all girls together. <laughs> ah, afternoon, miss. Good afternoon. This is Miss VV of BC 72, with the compliments of Senator Ludicrous. Do come in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and if that doesn't finish him, nothing will. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I hope I'm not too late to save him. It's very tricky, this, you know, because no man is allowed to set foot inside the Temple of Vesta. It's very difficult. Ooh! Oh, look! Oh, look, 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 look! Oh. <laughs> look, all those lovely young Vestals. What a wicked waste. <laughs> when you think of thousands of hungry men all over the world could do with those. <laughs> and you see, all they have to do, they look so bored, they're so bored. All they have to do is to tend a flame. Well, what can you do with a flame? <laughs> Nothing except snuff it or trim it. That's all you can do. <laughs> oh, poor souls. I feel... I, mean, I feel I'd like to do something for them, you know. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. Look, oh, don't push, don't shout. There's plenty of room for us all to look. Look. Oh, they're starting the initiation ceremony. You see that blonde piece? That, that's... An, oh, no, that's the high priestess of the virgins, you see. She's a kind of shop steward. <laughs> She, she, she does damn all herself and makes sure nobody else does either. You see. <laughs> now, look, oh, oh dear. Oh, they, oh, I must save him before they start bathing him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 there, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there. Oh, I'll say your line. Oh, Lurkio, oh, I brought your daughter, my daughter here. Oh, Master, have you? What's the use of that? Well, well, what do you mean? What's the use of that? I shall explain to the High Priestess and get her to take erotica instead of nauseous. That is, unless he's been already exposed. Oh, no, no. There's been no screams. Oh, yes! <laughs> Of delight. <laughs> now, Erotica, my dear, before we go in, I must ask you one question. I must ask you to answer me simply and honestly. Oh, of course, Daddy dear, what is it? Get ready for it. <laughs> uh, it's merely a formality. Are you pure in mind and body? Oh, why, of course I am, Daddy. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, you could have fooled me. <laughs> Were you telling the truth? Yes. What about all 
all those young gladiators? Not one of those? No. Oh, they must all be one of those. <laughs> Stop! Wait! Oh, how dare you enter this place? It is forbidden to men. No, no, no. I, I'm terribly sorry, High Priestess, but this is an emergency. There's been a terrible mistake. Mistake? Yes, you see, this maiden is not at all what he seems to be. Uh, what she seems to be. I mean, he... he uh, I mean, she... Oh, yes, uh, 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 madam. Uh, I mean, miss. Um, you see, owing to circumstances beyond our control, uh, you've got the wrong one here. What do you mean? How wrong? Oh, very wrong, <laughs> you see. Yes, um, as a matter of fact, you see, I... <laughs> I see. Yeah. And uh, how did this happen? Well, you see, she was bending over the well <laughs> and to draw some water, and unfortunately she got a bit more than she bargained for. <laughs> Wretched girl. Yes, wretched girl, yes. You see, now that girl, erotica, is the one you should have. I see. Yes. And how do I know this one is chaste? Oh, madam, <laughs> believe me, she is as pure as you are. I am the high priestess of the Vestals. None can be purer in mind and body than I. <laughs> Virgins. There's a lying cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shock of my life. You could have knocked me down with a meteorite. <laughs> I wish she's been down the catacombs. I bet you. I wonder if she's at it. I wonder if she's. <laughs> I wonder who it was. I'll tell you one thing. It wasn't me. That's for sure. <laughs> that's right. Tell, her, tell the whole neighbourhood. Oh, dear, you can't keep any secrets here in Pompey. Never mind, see you all next week. A salute. Eh? salute. <laughs> On washing day, oh dear. Honestly, I do feel smalls. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well. No. no, it was only a little joke. Don't worry about that one. Listen. No, actually, honestly, I must look a mess. I'm awfully sorry you caught me like this and my little pinny on. I'm ever so sorry. I feel I feel real sight today. Because actually, you know, it's very hard work, you know, here, bashing everything against those stones. Because, oh no! <laughs> what? No, listen a minute. No, what we listen? No, we have. Hey, that's, that's how we do it in Pompeii, you know. Oh yes, and every every Monday morning you'll find me down by the river among the women bashing away. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'll just take me. I'll just take me a little penny off now. I'll just take me. That's it. I actually have you noticed? Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's bitter cold, isn't it? Bitter accent. <laughs> Listen, um, have you noticed how you can tell people's characters by, by the, the underclothes, the things they wear underneath? Yes, have you noticed? Haven't you? Oh, you won't have a look sometimes, yeah. <laughs> well, now, look, look, you see, for instance, now these, these are my masters, yes? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, they are. You see, they've got frilly bottoms, poor old devil. It's the only sort of frills it gets these days. <laughs> and, um, these um, belong to my master's younger son. Well, he's only got one son. He's a young son called Nauseus. Nauseus, strange boy, most peculiar. 
You see, they call these a Y front. Because <laughs> I don't know why he bothers to have one. <laughs> Now, this, these, all this actually belongs to my master's daughter, young daughter, Erotica. Actually, it's just a, yes, it's just a converted eye patch, really. <laughs> you see? That's the reason why when all the young men see it, they say, aye, aye, no. <laughs> Here, now, this blank space, now, that belongs, really, to my mistress Ammonia's, you see. That's where, they, they, and they say they've been taken off because uh, she doesn't wait for them to dry, she puts them straight back into her handbag. No, uh, <laughs> The prologue. Let's get on with the prologue now. The prologue. Now, our story today concerns Lysistrata. Now, you've heard of Lysistrata. Now, her real name, actually, was Elizabeth Strata, but she was very popular. And they used to call... No, listen. I used to... Oh, it's Oh, dear. Now, this is the soothsayer, Senna. Yeah. Every time I see Senna, I want to run. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What's that other town which was full of lectures and bibbers? Sodom. Yeah. <laughs> I know how she feels, mind you, but still. You lascivious, drooling sexpot. Oh, me? <laughs> yes, you. I've seen your greedy eyes devouring the tender flesh of women. Oh, you're, that's not true. I'm a vegetarian. What do you mean? <laughs> but judgment is at hand. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, will descend from the mountain in a flood of molten lava. Lava? Molten lava! Yes. And destroy you! Oh, yes, that'll be nice. When? She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. <laughs> I suppose you'll be singing, Lava, come back to me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I can be sarcastic in a crisis. Well, I mean... She... <laughs> Well, she's a silly old bag. She is. I'm sorry, she is. She's a real mid she's is right. She is. It's all oh, this is a wicked place. What? Wicked? I oh, just sex. Sex mad. Oh, yes. That's why they get married here. Just so they'll have something to swap. That's the only reason they get married. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, of course. Not me. Well, of course, I'm only a mere slave, you see. I mean, I don't have time for that sort of thing. And it's a pity. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, now, there's something I really covet. There's something I covet. Oh, yes. I'm not past a little bit of sly covetry on occasions. Yes. Actually, no, that covet has just moved in. Lush is her name, and she just moved in the house opposite. You see, oh, I really covet her. But what's the point? I mean, I'm only a slave, aren't I? Just a mere slave. She wouldn't look at me. I'm not worthy to kiss the globe of her rear. No, I mean, no, no, no wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've got that muddled. I'm not, I'll say this again, I'm not worthy to kiss the lobe of her ear. That's it. I cannot marry her. I will not. I will not marry her. Oh. Oh. Now, this is Norse. It's my master's son. Always a strange boy. Most peculiar boy. Ah, oh, yes. He's, I wonder what ails him. Oh, yes, he's full of ale. What's the matter? Come, Come along, little master. No. Oh, what are you doing? Blubbing. Pardon? Blubbing. Ah, oh, poor little blub. <laughs> Blubber. He's having a whale of a time. <laughs> Look, if you don't like subtlety, you may as well switch off. <laughs> What's the matter, Master? Oh, Loki, I'm so unhappy. Are you why? My father wants me to marry the daughter of Tedious Primus. Tedious Primus? Just because it's his old friend. Oh, it's ridiculous you can't marry one of your, your father's old friends. I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh, no, no, Lurko. His old friend, Tedious, his daughter. Oh. You know, Grottier. Grottier. <laughs> Grottier. Oh, I know her. She's a rather hefty girl with red eyes. That's the girl. And brown hair parted down the centre of her chest. I know. <laughs> yes. well, that's the one, yeah. Oh, look, I couldn't marry her. Of course you couldn't. She, she, she's too overbearing. Yes. She carries all before her. Yeah, she carries quite a bit behind her as well. <laughs> oh, besides, I love another. You love another? Oh, Ambrosia. Ambrosia? Oh, how I love Ambrosia. Ah, oh, you can tell he's in love. Look at the soppy expression on his face. Oh. Yes, listen, may, may we assume you've written an ode to this Ambrosia? 
Why, yes. Ah. However did you guess? Well, let's say intuition. Oh, yes, let's. Intuition. intuition. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's cheered you up, hasn't it? May I see your ode? Please. Yes. Oh, yes, it's quite a lengthy one, isn't it? Here we are. Ode. <laughs> ode to Ambrosia. Ode to Ambrosia. I love to kiss her golden hair. She sets me writing ditties. <laughs> get ready, get ready. But most of all, I love to roam around her ample <laughs> country estate. That's where I first saw her. Was it? Well, I know it doesn't rhyme, but you can't have it everywhere. No. <laughs> I can't even get it anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Be well, Master. Look, are you going to marry this uh, little raver? Oh, well, last look, you. Oh. If you could have seen the contempt with which she looked down on me. Did she? I was beneath her. Oh, you shouldn't have been beneath her. That's kinky, Master. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why have you asked her? I mean, have you have you asked her to marry you? No. Huh? Oh. Do you think I dare? Uh, well, uh, let's ask. Do you think he should? Do you think he should? That's right. Open the box. Oh, That's right. yes, I will. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, well, thank you very Yes. One thing at a time. Thank you very much. Lurkio, I'll go and see her straight away. That's right. You do that. Oh, but if she refuses me, yes. I shall throw myself into the sea and relieve myself of this misery forever. That's right, Master. Yes. Well, that's how they relieve themselves here. <laughs> Rushing into the sea. That's it. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, no hap. Now, the prologue. And... Oh. Yes, mistress. Oh, dear, that's... Now, this is my mistress, Ammonia. I say mistress, I don't mean, you know, she's... No. I know, wait a minute, I mean my master's wife. I mean, she's... No. Oh, well, mind you, she would. <laughs> what? I should say so. At the drop of a toga. Oh, she's... Oh, what? She's a right funny woman. She really is. She's, she's known as Sexus Insanum. Which translated means she's mad about it. <laughs> Here now are the wise words of Plautus. It's a well-known fact that this obsession that the Romans had with sex led directly to their decline and eventual fall. However, remember the words of that great orator Cicero. What the hell, baby? It's a wonderful way to go! Ah, <laughs> oh, look you. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, mistress. Alecchio, I'm just going out for a bit. Oh, I think that's a better idea. Yes. <laughs> I shan't be back until late. Oh. Oh, so you'll be out all evening, my dear. Why? It's Monday, my fabric-making class. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you'd better get weaving, hadn't you? <laughs> Not right. They get all the witty lines. I just get the corny lines. <laughs> Uh, will you be wanting supper, dear? Well, yes. Uh, well, no. No, as you're going to be busy, I may as well take the opportunity of visiting my old friend, Tedious. Oh. Erotica, dear, you'll be in, of course. Well, as a matter of fact, Mummy, if you're all going to be out, I've just remembered there's a cookery class I'd like to go to. Oh, there's a lying cow. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to meet that young gladiator, Prodigious. <laughs> They call him Prod for short. <laughs> Cookery class? I thought you'd finish those. Oh, no. They're doing baking this evening. Yes, I bet they are. <laughs> She'll finish up with a something in the oven, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, like it looks as though everyone will be out this evening, so you can have it off. <laughs> yes, mistress. <laughs> promises, promises. <laughs> Now, what's the point of having the evening off? Let's face it, I've got nowhere to go. No money, you say? They don't pay me, you know. Don't pay me at all. No, just pay me my keep, that's all. I'm a kept man. I'm worse off than those au pair girls. I haven't even got a pair. Never mind. <laughs> ah, well, no hat. The prologue. Oh, yes, mistress. Lurkio, what are you doing? Oh, well, I was doing the prologue. Oh, no, no, dear. I mean, what are you doing this evening? Oh, nothing. I can't afford to. I shall just lie upstairs on my palliasse. <laughs> and I shall... <laughs> I shall look at the... Perf What's the flies performing on the ceiling? I don't know what they're doing tonight, because I haven't seen a fly paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> dear, Lurkio... 
I do hate to think of you being all alone this evening. Oh, yes, mistress. Yes. Now, look here. Here's ten drachmas. Ten drachmas. Mm -hmm. You go out and enjoy yourself, understand? Yes, mistress. <laughs> ten drachmas. Yes, I must be off to my man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean my fabric-making Yes. Yes, Bye, yes, yes, yes. Oh, ten drachmas. One of us come over her. She'd never done that before. Ten drachmas. Oh, well. Nice. Ah. Well, now, the prologue. I love now, you. Yeah. I was just wondering, what are you doing this evening? Uh, well, not the same as you are, that's for sure. Oh, no. poor Lucky Oak. Oh. I can't bear to think of you staying at home here all alone. Can't you? No, so I'd like you to take this money and go out somewhere and really enjoy yourself. Ten drachmas? Well, thank you, mistress. Oh, no, thank you, Lucky Oak. No, thank you. Well, there we are. Another ten drachmas. Well, if I didn't know better... If I didn't know, didn't know they were going out, I would think they were trying to get rid of me, wouldn't you? <laughs> Never mind. As we Romans say, sic transit gloria rubabum, which means never look a gift horse in the mouth. It's the other end that feeds the rhubarb. <laughs> Lurkio, uh, what are you doing this evening? Eh? Oh, I'm, no, I'm not doing Up or down? Down. Yes. <laughs> oh, my, I've got, my handcuffs are coming oh, off. Oh, Lurkio, well, well, we'll put it aside. Yes. Right. Yeah, now, what master, are you doing this evening? Uh, nothing, Master. I'm just saying, staying at home as usual. Oh, come, come, Lurkio. No, 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 that's not good enough. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, oh, you can't bear the thought of me being home all alone, can you? Well, how did uh, you guess uh, that, uh, Lurkio? Uh, now, look here, Lurkio. Yes. There's ten drachma. Ten right. drachma. Now you find one of those nightclubs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> find a nice little girl. Yes. <laughs> Have a good bit of fun, eh? Yes, yes, thank you, Master. I got the message out of the first poke. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you for the, the, the no, ten drachma. Not at all, Lurkio. A good slave is a satisfied slave, I always say. Thank yes. you, Master. Well done. Oh. I can't understand him. He's usually such a mean old devil. Oh, and Lurkio, you don't have to worry. You don't have to pay me back till next week. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Master. And you don't, don't have to worry either, Master. As we Romans say, sic transit gloria sanguinum fortunatum, which means you'll be bloody lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Isn't it marvellous? Thirty drachmas. Oh, I'm doing well, aren't I? I can't believe it. Now, the prologue. Lysistrata. Can Here, you. Oh, me? Yes, you. What? You come from that house opposite, don't you? Yes. yes the I... senator's house? Yes, I do. Why? Yeah. What are you doing this evening? I can't believe this. <laughs> I, 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 well, I'm not doing anything, because, no, I haven't got any money, you I see. I said, what are you doing this evening? Well, nothing, because, you see, I have to stay at home. Good. You tell the senator. Yeah. That my mistress Lusher. Lusher? Yeah, Lusher. Yeah. She's going to call on him at seven o'clock. Oh, is she? Oh, I don't think my master will be. Uh, won't be wrong. <laughs> won't be wrong. Won't be expecting her. Of course he won't. Not until you tell him. No. All right. All right then. Yes. So will you make sure you tell him? Yes, I will. She she will be received with every possibility. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Silly old bang. <laughs> it, went, it, must be, eh? it must be my lucky day, though, isn't it? Eh? I've got 30, I've got 30 drachmas, and uh, there's an empty house and a lovely piece of covet coming to call, eh? <laughs> now, listen, listen a minute. Now, she doesn't know me, the little piece of covet, and she's never seen my master, the senator. So, why shouldn't I purport to be him? You understand? And, ooh, what? <laughs> no, well, you see, obviously she wouldn't be going there unless she wants a favour. And a favour demands a favour in return. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pop down to the chemist and I'll tell you why. No, no, I'm going to buy a love filter. I'll now buy a, a love filter because we Romans always like to filter our love. <laughs> <laughs> filter our love. Oh, please, yourself. <laughs> that the love filter was extremely popular among the ruling classes. Indeed, a booklet was produced of advice for emperors entitled 20 king-sized filter tips. <laughs> that may not be funny, but I'm fast. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Oh, um, I wonder. Could I talk to the gentleman, please? <laughs> One minute, I'm busy. Oh. Yes. Three drops of essence of lizard's gizzard. <laughs> Two drops of tincture of toad's intestine. <laughs> and a touch of powdered bat's wing. Oh, dear. Isn't science wonderful? <laughs> Do you know, before these marvellous new medicines, people used to die like flies. Now, now, now they die like bats and toads and lizards. <laughs> uh, uh, that's that. Yes. Oh. And what can I do for you, sir? Well, um, it's very embarrassing, you see. I wonder if I could... It's, 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 it's very embarrassing. Well, you want her, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I want to see... I've got a, a, a girl I'm trying to... I'm opening uh, a piece of covet coming... Uh, <laughs> see, I want something, I want something to warm her up. Well, wrap her in cotton wool and stick her in front of the no, fire. No, no, no. <laughs> I want something to sort of, you know, to put her at a really ease. I help her to, you know, relax. Oh, you want a surgical support? <laughs> <laughs> I want something to loosen her, loosen her. Have you tried a laxative? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't tried a laxative. I want something to help her to make her capitulate, capitulate. God knows what he's going to say to that. <laughs> Well, I don't uh, know about it. Look, I want... Oh, you want a love filter! Uh, shut up! I told the whole neighbourhood loud mouth. You should have said. Yes. What's that? There you are. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes. Dr. Castor Oilis's love potion. To be taken three times daily before mating. <laughs> oh, is it good, this? Yeah, just slip one drop into her wine. One drop? Yeah. One drop into her wine, and the first person she sees after drinking it... First person she sees after drinking it? She'll fall in love with. Fall in love with? Are you sure? Well, of course. Ah. Would you like to see my testimonials? No, thank you very much. <laughs> I've got no time for old concert party gags. Here, oh, read dear. that one. All right, testimonials. Dear, dear Dr. Oilis, I gave my wife your love potion some three months ago. I must say it worked perfectly. I will come and thank you in person as soon as I get my toes unknotted. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds good. Thirty drachmas. Thirty drachmas? That's all the money I've got in the world. Well, it's not, dear. That will last you for five years. Yeah, the thing is, will I last five years? <laughs> all right, well, I suppose it's worth it. There you are, 30 thank drachmas. You. Yes. The no. best of luck. Thank you. Listen, it's, listen here, come here. It says here, shake well after taking. That's right. And if she doesn't shake well, I'll give you your money back. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy your last appearance on this show. <laughs> Oh, you handsome devil, you. <laughs> oh, that poor girl won't stand a chance. What? You don't need love potions? Sex appeal? Ah, oh, you're oozing with it. You're oozing with it. You should be an oozo. <laughs> oh, what? I shall need this. Now, wait a minute, though. Perhaps she might not be feeling very oozeful tonight. No. Perhaps I'd better put a spot in. Do you what you feel? Yes, just a little bit. Make sure. Keep on the safe side. All right. Here we are. Little... There we are. <laughs> there we are. Just... Uh, mm, perhaps a spot more, yes. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Now, that should do the trick. Now, what's the time? Oh, look! It's nine grains past seven. Oh, <laughs> She's late. Never mind. As we Romans say, sic transit gloria collapsum, which means the later they come, the harder they fall. <laughs> now, here we are. Oh, she's here. Oh, dear. Oh, keep calm. Keep calm. You must keep calm. This is going to be a piece of cake. A piece of cake. Oh, dear. I'm so nervous. Now, how shall I start? How shall I start? By letting her in. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> but suppose she doesn't want to come in. I just... oh. <laughs> there we are, the lot. Now, get out of that lot. <laughs> now, 
do, do come in. Good evening. Good evening. Are you the senator? Yes, yes, I, uh, I do come in. How do you do? Oh, nicely, thanks. I'm your new next door neighbor, Lasha. Yes, so nice to see you. Won't you lie down? I mean, won't you sit down? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, oh dear, it'll be a piece of cake, this is going to be a piece of cake, don't worry. Yes, now watch this, well, watch for a while at any rate. But listen, no, as soon as I start to cut myself off a slice, you'll switch off, won't you? I promise to, I promise to switch off. Well now, how nice. <laughs> now, um, can I offer you just a tittle of wine? No, I don't think I really need Thank you. No, I don't think she does either. <laughs> oh, it's going to be easy, this, or oh, a piece of cake. Yes. I expect you're wondering what I've come for. Oh, not really. <laughs> After all, you're a woman and I'm a man. That is to say, horizontally speaking. <laughs> Actually, it's become a matter of some urgency. Uh, is it? <laughs> don't worry, dear, I shan't keep you long. <laughs> it's rather awkward, but... Being a widow, I no longer have a man to do things for me. Haven't you? <laughs> oh, you're a widow, are you? Yes, although I haven't any weeds on. No, I expect you're too busy for them to grow, aren't you? <laughs> Never having met you before, you may think it rather forward of me to ask such a favour. Oh, not at all, at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just that I wanted you to... Yes. That is, I'd be extremely grateful if you'd... Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> if you'd stop fixing your clothesline to the wall of my house. What? Well, it is <clears throat> rather an eyesore. Is that all you've come over here for? Yes. Well, no, of oh. course I was very anxious to make your acquaintance. Ah, <laughs> that's better, yes. It's going to be all right, you see. She's a bit bashful, bashful, you see. Well, now, what do you think of me now? I think we shall be very good friends. Ah. You're so like my dear old father. <laughs> I don't think things are going right. I think you'd better go out and come in again. If you oh, don't. no, I've upset you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll leave now. No, don't. You can't leave now. I've got 30 drachmas invested in you. 30 drachmas? Yes. I don't get it. No, neither will I if you leave. Now, listen. <laughs> uh, do sit down. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll go and remove the clothesline. And meanwhile, let me, let me proffer you a little dinky donks. Oh, no, really. Dinky, dinky, <laughs> doo-dah donks. Come along. Oh, all right, then. If it will give you pleasure. Yeah, that's the general idea. <laughs> there we are. Um, bottoms up. Oh, definitely, soon as I get... <laughs> it's working, it's working, yes. <laughs> Hello, she's drinking it, she's drinking it. Listen, don't forget what the chemist said. The first person she sees after drinking wins the coconut. <laughs> that's right, get it down, you girl, that's it. Oh, get ready to switch off. Get ready to switch. I'm actually cutting this off of a slice. Now, where's the get the clothes line down? I'll take it into her. So now, what's? No, ah, get uh, master. You can't go in there. What's the matter? Oh no, you! I am undone. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, do yourself out that here <laughs> because there's nobody around. Ambrosia refused me. She did. I'm going to throw myself into the sea. It's a good idea. Then now the sea's that way, master. <laughs> Oh, but I've got my best clothes on. I've got to change first. The master! Oh, uh, ma sorry, I, I didn't know there was anyone in here. Oh, you're beautiful. I love you. What? Come, love me. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I love another. Take me, I'm yours. Oh. Love me. Oi, oi, oi! No, me. Mrs. Mrs. Me. Mrs. Mrs. You've got the wrong one, dear. I should be getting all that. Oh, my darling, let us go without. Oh, no, no, Lurker, no, no, please do something. I don't want to go without. <laughs> I'm the one that's going without, mother, look at it. Wait a minute. My darling! No! Oh, oh, love it's... me, love me! Oh, oh, look, isn't it sickening? Thirty drachmas down the drain for love filters. Oh, oh, oh hello. Dear. Reinforcements. <laughs> Yes, he has. Why? Oh, thank goodness. Why? When he left me, he threatened to throw himself into the sea. Did all oh, this must be the fair Ambrosia, yes. I didn't mean to.
to upset him. In fact, I tried very hard not to fall out with him. Yes, with a dress like that, it's very easy to fall out, isn't it? <laughs> now, uh, I wish I could make him understand. Understand what? I'm not ready to get married. You're not ready to get married? But I'm quite prepared to make love. Yeah, oh, are you? <laughs> well, why not? Fair dues. He's got my bit, hasn't he? Yes, haven't he? <laughs> ah. Ah, oh, there, 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 there. <gasps> Oh, there, 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 there. No! Ever so there, there, there. Mum for the road. No! Oh, there, there, there. You do understand. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm understanding, but no, don't worry, you won't have to marry me. No, I knew you'd understand. Oh, yeah. You're such a nice, oh. kind old gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, while I'm looking for nauseous, could I offer you just a teensy wintle tittle of dinky donks? Oh. Dinky donks, dinky donky doo dars. Well, I must say, I could do with something or other. Yes, well, have the something first. <laughs> We'll talk about the other later. <laughs> uh, down the hatch. Oh, any way you like, yes! <laughs> oh, it's going to be kinky, I like that. <laughs> down the hole, my dear lady, this way. Oh, I can't wait to get my arms around you. Well, I'm not sure that I want to after you've neglected me all these months. I suppose there's somebody else. Oh, no, 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 there's no, never been anybody else. Never. Oh, no, I've waited so long for this moment. Oh, come along, my dear. Come and get it. Oh, oh. I thought you said there'd be nobody here. Who's that? I have the faintest idea. I've never seen her before. Oh, you fabulous man. Come, love me. What? So you've never seen her before, eh? No, I don't understand. I've waited for you so long. Come to my arms. Hold oh, me. Oh, no, no. Please, young woman, try and control yourself. Oh, Flavia, dear, help me. Do something. Oh, do something. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 my dear. Please, I no, 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 no. I can't find Norsia. Where's she gone? <coughs> She's gone. Now, she was here a minute ago. Now, you've been watching. Now, where's she gone? <laughs> Well, she's drunk the wine, I can see that. I hope one of you haven't got her, have you? <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get any more free tickets, I'll tell you that. Oh, you erotica. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Yes. I had a message from Erotica to come here. Did you? She said the house would be empty. Yes, I'm so... Well, yes, I'm sorry about that. I see they're a crafty lot, this family, yes. I'll wait for her, if you don't mind. Not at all. I'm prodigious. Oh, pardon? I said, I am prodigious. Well, don't boast about it, because after all, we all have our moments. At least I would if I could find my ambrosia. That's the point. Wait, what? my darling. Oh, don't be afraid, my love. Wait for me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at him, the dirty old devil. Take your hands off my ambrosia. Come here. How extraordinary. If this is her idea of an empty house, I wouldn't like to see a full one. Oh, dear. That's two I've lost. Two. Two I've lost. I shouldn't wait around here if I were you, so it's queuing in all parts at the moment. You're so beautiful. <laughs> um, uh, yes. Oh, it's so dear. Look, he's been, he's been on the dinky donks. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone no, but so lovely. Oh, dear. Saved by the bell. What are you doing here? You should be gone. He's the one that's gone. Look, this is for you. This is your piece there. Oh, prod. Oh, oh come, let's be friends. Oh, you dirty old prod. Go on. Oh, of course you can come in, Bunches. I've told you they're all out this mm -hmm. evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, quickly, dearest Bunches. I've waited so long for this moment. I too, darling Ammonia. How wonderful to have you alone at last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> it's my handsome woman. Please come back to me, my love. Mommy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please stand still for a moment. What's the matter with everybody? I thought you said that they would all be out. They're supposed to be. Wait here, Bunches. I'll find out what's going on. Ludicrous nauseous lurk you. Thought it was too good to be true. Prod, Prod, have you seen a young gladiator come through? Oh, you lovely little raver. Adorable. Come here. What? What's your name? I love you. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh, and my own daughter, the humiliation of you. <laughs> oh, 
dear. Oh, at last I've shaken off that wicked old prod. Now, I don't know about you, girl, but honestly, I've had it. I really have. Oh, look you. Oh, Mistress Ammonia. No! Don't! Don't drink that! Don't. Why not? Let go of it. I want it. If you drink that, you'll definitely get it. That's for sure. Oh, move in time. Move in time. They're all mad. Look here, look here. Where are you? Oh, come, let's be friends. Oh, you beautiful young man, come to ammonia. No. <laughs> Let me hold you. No, 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 it's too much for me. Oh, I, I can't stand it at all. Oh, it's no way. There'll be no draws and four aways. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that going on in there? All that going on in there. But not me. I'm not a part of it. Nothing for me. On my money, too, all that. My 30 There was no justice, girl. No justice. <laughs> I tell you one, while well, I talk about sex is insane, it's worse than swinging Londinium, this, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you one thing, it'll put me off love filters for life. No more love filters. Next time I get the urge, I'll have a cold bath instead. <laughs> now, I tell you what, I must, I, I, I'll pour the rest of that love filter, that wine away, because it causes enough trouble as it is. I said, where's it gone? Who's pinched it? It was here. I left it here. Here, yeah, one of you haven't got it, have you? <laughs> but heaven help your wife tonight if you have, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, I've done my best, haven't I? It's, I've done my best, it's, it's not my responsibility. Oh, no, back to work. Now, let's get on. The prologue. <laughs> now, oh, dear, here she is. Senna, the woe-woe girl. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, dear. You're going to say, the time has come, the end is here. Mistress, all right. Take the statue to the All right, mistress, all right. Oh, what is she does go on? Who would be a slave? <laughs> well, when you have to walk through the streets of Pompeii, right through carrying this, I mean, you really have touched rock bottom, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's, no, it's not good enough. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is, well, this is bust, you see. But, um... <laughs> Please, please. No, just remember where we are. Aha! This! This is Ceres. Ceres, the goddess of plenty. And I do mean plenty. <laughs> Definitely a double feature attraction. Well, I better take you inside, I think, lest autumn comes quickly in. Autumn. <laughs> autumn leaves falling, you understand? Come on. No. Can't explain all these precious jewels of jokes, you know. Going for a song. Well, now, greetings, good citizens. Oh, 
the prologue. Now, our story today concerns Aphrodite. Aphrodite, who, as you may or may not know, is that cow of a woman who lives next door. <laughs> oh, I hate her. I don't care. I do, honestly, I hate her. I don't... Now, look, you know me. I am the last one to talk about anyone behind their backs. I mean, you know that. But it came to pass. <laughs> oh, dear, it sounds like the milkman calling its horse. Nay, nay! I think it is his horse. <laughs> Be well! Oh, dear. Here she is, the soothsayer, Senna. Whoa, whoa! Oh, doesn't she go through you? <laughs> Dishonour will fall on this house this day. Dishonour? One who is a traitor to the state will be exposed and laid bare. Oh, I think it's the best way to be laid, dear. <laughs> the seeker of intimate details will come. Yes? Pitting man against man, woman against woman. Yes, and vice versa, I trust. <laughs> oh, we shall be in trouble, yes. Beware, beware, oh, beware. Oh, dear, poor old soul. It is a damn shame. She's a real misery. You know, she has these visions, nasty visions. Everything she saw, ever since she saw something nasty in the woodshed. <laughs> Actually, was the gardener, saw himself off a piece. But, I mean, he's such a, such a real... He's you know, been a, a burden to her, poor soul. <laughs> now, the prologue. Now, this woman, Aphrodite, I hate her. I absolutely hate her. Now, do you know, I'm the last one to scandal monger, but last week, there was no less than eight men in there. She had no less than eight men. Now, look, you can't tell me she's forming a tug-of-war team. I don't believe it. What, do you think I am, stupid or something? Well, don't take a vote on it. <laughs> don't be wicked. No. Anyway, it came to pass. Mercio! Oh. Mercio! Yes, Master. Well, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing the prologue, Master. Well, don't, Mercio. What? I've got myself into the most awful trouble. Well, don't tell me you've joined her tug of war team. <laughs> Not here. What? Come into the house. Oh, yes, all right, yes. I'd better go in, I suppose. Mercio! Mercio! Yes, Master. Where's your mistress? She's upstairs, in the bath. Ah, good, good. Is anyone else in? Oh, no. There's hardly room for two, Master. <laughs> in the house, I mean. Uh, no, Master. Only us, just you and I. Look, you. Yes. For some time now, yes. I have had the honour of being the Minister of Defence, as you know. Yes, but they don't know, so you better continue, I think. <laughs> now... This morning, yes. I discovered yes. that someone had stolen the plans for our new secret weapon. Not the giant catapult. Yes. I... How did you know about it? Well, I, think I, I heard it from the milkman. That's funny. I was told by the dustman. Oh. <laughs> but look, you what? I don't think you appreciate the seriousness of this situation. Oh, I do. You can tell by the lack of laughs. Oh, I do. <laughs> you see? What? This catapult can hurl a missile through the air a distance of fully 25 feet. 25 feet? 25 feet? What's <laughs> in here? Oh, no, don't you try that. Don't you try it. <laughs> oh, no, you hurt yourself. Keep down there. That's the best thing for you. When I tell you what? that that missile is the size of a coconut. A coconut? In fact, it is a coconut. It is a coconut. Well, you could see that if that fell into enemy hands, it could be the end of civilization oh, as we know it. Yes, one lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> and up, Pompey. You see, the plan was stolen from my office. Your office? Yes. Now, look, Master, think very carefully now. Are, are, are you sure you've searched in your drawers? But I'm not wearing any. <laughs> That's an answer to all those viewers of written in asking. <laughs> Mostly from Scotland. So, look you. What? Now, this plan. Let's we go. must search. Thank the... you. It's my son. My yes. Son. Shh, shh, shh. Not a word about this. Oh, no, Master. No, no, no. Oh, hello, Peter. Peter, the most wonderful <laughs> things happened. No, to... I've no time for that now, my son. I'm not late for the Senate. Oh, poor Peter. It seems to be all work and no play. Yeah, I know. And when he does try to play, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. What, Master? I have seen a wondrous sight. Don't tell me you've seen one of those coconuts. A magnificent maiden. A maiden? Yes. No, thank you. I shall never be the same again. Oh. What, eh? Don't tell me you... Don't tell me you finally sort of, you know, sort of... Met? 
Uh, well, I didn't exactly mean that. Well, that's no luck, you. She doesn't even know that I'm alive. No. I wouldn't swear to it myself without a second opinion. <laughs> Every night I sit in a wine shop opposite her apartment, waiting for her to pass by. Do you? But when she does, I'm too tiddly, even to wink. <laughs> Look, I'll do the corny gags, do you mind? <laughs> Lurkier. What? I've written an ode to her. Oh, you haven't. I have. He has. Oh. <laughs> May I uh, resuscitate this ode to the assembled conglomeration? Ah. His ode, a sweet. Ode to a chaste woman. Listen, it's not that woman living next door to us, is it? <laughs> you sure, because I hate her. I hate the sight of her. All right, then. His ode. She walks in beauty like the night. Her charms I cannot resist. I'll drink one more toast to her I love most and get myself thoroughly miserable. <laughs> I was lost for a rhyme there. <laughs> Kissed. Kissed. Well, it's so obvious, isn't it? So obvious. <laughs> it's obvious to me at any rate. <laughs> you speak for yourselves. Not now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to stick it on the wall above my bed. I'm <laughs> going to stick it. <laughs> stick it somewhere. <laughs> strange boy, most strange. He goes from bed to verse. <laughs> bed to verse. Come on. <laughs> We're flogging ourselves to death here. Oh, isn't this whimsical? Isn't it? Well, please yourself. <laughs> oh. Hello. A stranger cometh. Excuse me. Yes. Not today. Thank you. <laughs> Shut the door and bolt it. What? I say, if you've come about the smell on the landing... <laughs> what? Walls have ears. Pardon? Walls <laughs> have ears. Since we're exchanging information, ceilings get plastered. <laughs> Don't bother. <laughs> what a funny man. What do you mean this show needs one? What do you, <laughs> would you mind shutting your gobs? <laughs> Don't do that, please. I'm getting soaked. This was clean off the day. Now, please. Is this the house of Senator Ludicrous? If it is, just say, my rhubarb is wilting. <laughs> Just say, the herrings fly high tonight. Uh, my rhubarb is wilting. Thank heaven. It isn't, as you know. <laughs> but you have to humour them, don't you? Where's he gone? Oh, my stomach went over. <laughs> don't keep doing that. You've caught the whole front row of the audience. <laughs> now, desist. Now, look. What? Are you? <laughs> Are you one of us? It depends who you are. <laughs> Aren't you? Hello? Where's he taking me? Hey? I am spurious. <laughs> well, I must say, you don't surprise me. Spurious. Spurious. MIV. MIV. Military Intelligence, Section 5. Oh, MIV 5. You see, 5. You see, <laughs> excuse fingers. <laughs> <what's this? laughs> Can I trust you? I think the thing is, can I trust you if I don't miss you? Yes. But there's no one else. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> They're coming to get me. Are they? I wish they'd come before this show. I tell you that. Now what? look. What? You'll never guess what I've got here. <laughs> I hesitate to think. <laughs> this is the missing plan. The missing plan? The missing plan. The plan. See that it gets back to Senator Ludicrous. Yes, yes. And tell no one else about this. No, no one no else. One. No, all no right. one. No, I'd say I've got the point that no one. Conceal it. Conceal it. Upon your person. Very well. Conceal it on my person. Yes. All right. Now, where <laughs> shall I put it? <laughs> you dare. You dare. Go on. I know. I'll tuck it under my girdle. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't keep it long. No, I don't have to wear a girdle. The only thing is, you see, it keeps these knickers up. <laughs> You're jealous? You're jealous? What? Oh. Come and sit down. 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 S
sit down, yes. Sit down. Mind. Take this. Yes. And write this down. Write this down. Yes. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> right, go. The name of the traitor. The name of the traitor. Name. Within yes. our midst. Within our midst. Yes. Is. Is. A. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Not too fast. Oh. It? oh. E. e. Oh. 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 <laughs> this must be a red Indian, I think. <laughs> oh. Ah, dear, look. Ah, I've lost the damn point. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't have to have a knife on you by any chance, do you? <laughs> oh, Tar. <laughs> Funny place to keep a knife. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> What? They've got me! They've... What? I'm dying! Dying! Well, you can't die here. This is the living room. <laughs> this is the <laughs> well, You wouldn't get this from Harold Pinter. <laughs> what do you mean you wouldn't want it? Oh! <laughs> I'm sinking fast. The good blood flows fast in my body. I'm going. The beats of my staunch heart grow fainter. I'm going fast. My eyes cloud over. My muscles stiffen. I'm going. I'm going! Oh, for goodness sake, go! <laughs> we should be here all night. It's only supposed to be a small part. <laughs> what are you trying to get in the honours list? <laughs> I'm gone! Yes, you have. Too <laughs> far. Now. Oh, oh God, forgot. he's come back again. <laughs> the traitor. The traitor? Within our midst. Within our midst. Outside. Outside. The window. Yes. Uh, Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, have you gone this time? Good. <laughs> Let's hope it's for good. Excuse me. That's right. He'll catch his death. He'll catch his death. <laughs> Did you see anybody out here, a traitor, with a knife? Serve right. you. Oh. Yes, mistress. Serve you. I need you quickly. Yes. Well, that'll be the mistress. I expect she wants her oil rub. <laughs> no, every time she has a bath, I have to rub it down. All over with oil, you know, all over, yes. It's, it helps her to slip into something comfortable. Thank <laughs> you, there you are. I'm expecting a guest. Uh, uh, oh, no, mister, um, mister, oh, mistress, oh, dear. Oh, something terrible has happened. Terrible? In this very room. A man has been done to death. Oh, nonsense, Lucky. Oh, I'm the only one here, and I'd never do any man to death. <laughs> <laughs> True, but I've seen a few tut of a her room damn near it. <laughs> what? You talk rubbish. No, mistress, please. There's a man. This man, look. Ah, ah. I'll prove it. I'll prove it. Look. Look. This man. <laughs> Lapio, have you been drinking? Yes. Bottoms up. I mean, not that. No. Uh, ah, mistress. Oh, no. There's a man with his herrings wilting. Wilting. No, it is all uh, flourishing. Oh, that is rhubarb. Yeah, there was it. No. <laughs> I don't know what Lapio. I had. Lurkio, Lurkio, I fear you've had a touch of the sun. No, it's true. It's, I can prove it. Oh. Mistress, I can prove it. I've got in my girdle, tucked, something which will shock you. Really? Mistress, yes, something to show you. <laughs> Believe me, it hurls coconuts 25 feet. <laughs> Yes, mistress, honestly. Of course, if you're coconut shy. A coconut shy! <laughs> oh, no, you must be serious. This is a serious thing. No, I, no, I mustn't show you. I promised I would show it to no one except the master. Oh, really? Like, I've had enough of this nonsense. Well, uh, mm. I shall be in my room, and when my guest arrives, send him up. <laughs> yes, mistress. Oh, but it's a... Oh, dear. I must be the victim of some ghastly plot. And believe me, this is the ghastliest plot we've had so far. <laughs> I wish they'd just stick to gags and nothing else. Greetings, <laughs> friend. Oh, sir. Oh, this is 00VII. <laughs> Look, 007. Come on, don't be ignorant. <laughs> Jamus Bundus. All right, kids, you can go home now. Oh, jeez. I think I can walk oh. the rest of the way myself. Uh, sir, <laughs> I think you have something that I want. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing about you, actually. <laughs> a plan, to be a, exact. A plan, yes, sir. Yes, a, pl ah, a plan, yes. I wonder. I wonder if I can trust him. You see, he might be working for the other side. Mm -hmm. I'll test him. <laughs> um, may I ask you a personal question? Yes. <laughs> How flourishes your rhubarb? <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> 
put it this way. How wilteth your herrings? I don't think you can be the chap that I'm looking for. Do you mind if I have a look around? Of course, of course. After all, what have I got to hide? Very little, I should imagine. <laughs> Little does he know it holds coconuts 25 feet. <laughs> you won't go away, will you? Uh, no, how ah, well, I'm sorry, I have an appointment. Uh, but uh, it can wait. <laughs> oh, I should hate to have to hurt you. Yes, well, I'm very glad about that. Excuse me, what are you doing? I'm fitting a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> I see, you must want a little peace. <laughs> I say, it opens this way. Mmm, <laughs> clever. I can't think how you got the part, can you? Sir, sir, you're heard talking, has my guest arrived? Yes, it, uh, now, well, no, ooh, ah, now, well, no. Yes, it's, it's a, you see, it's another, it's a stranger. It's a stranger, not the one you expected. Oh, how disappointing. But is there anything I can do for him? No, I think he's after something else, mistress. Oh. Uh, let me think. Now, I don't know, though. Ah, this Bondus man. I'm heard he has, he has a weakness for women. Yes. Pompey is full of Bonds women. <laughs> Bonds women. <laughs> I have to laugh myself and I'm in it. <laughs> now, I wonder if she could get something out of him. She ought to be able to. She had plenty of practice. <laughs> mistress, mistress. Yes. The master. The master is in trouble. Oh, at his age, I can't imagine how. Well, uh, <laughs> look, mistress, uh, I wonder if you could uh, uh, get this man, you see, and, and, and find out what, uh, what he's after. <gasps> find... Mercury, what are you suggesting? Well, I'm suggesting you take him to one side, alone, and uh, use your wiles. Wiles? Just for a while. Oh, certainly not. <laughs> really, Lurkio, what do you think I am? That I, the wife of a prominent Roman senator, could stoop to fling myself at any man just to... Certainly not. <clears throat> Until we've been introduced. <laughs> oh, this is Jameis Bondus. I am the Lady Ammonia. The wife of Senator Ludicrous Sextus. I have heard that you had a great beauty. Funny, I've heard the same about you. <laughs> uh, listen, there's going to be two falls and two submissions. <laughs> Is there anywhere that we can talk alone? The music room. Excellent. Let's go and play something. <laughs> It's getting interesting now. Let's have a look, shall we? Come on, let's have a look. Come on, come have a look. Let's sit. Have a look, see what's going on. Don't rush, there's plenty of time. <laughs> oh, no, there isn't. Quick, hurry. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh that, 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 that's enough. That's enough. Go on, get back. Go on, get back. That's enough. You had enough. You won't sleep tonight. <laughs> now shall I come to that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, what shall we do while they're in there for the next ten minutes? I don't feel like doing the pro prologue, do you? I've gone right off that. I feel all taut, do you? I feel all taut. And I bet she's taught him a thing or two already. <laughs> now, if this was a fictional spy story, fictional, you know what would happen, don't you? The door would open, and there would stand a beautiful woman. Ah, beautiful, mysterious, intelligent. And she would move slowly forward, forward across the room in front of me, Good afternoon. And she would try to get something out of me, but I wouldn't divulge. You understand? I would stand firm, fast. I wouldn't. Oh, no. I'm being got at. I'm being tampered with. You're beautiful. She's noticed. Ah, oh, I told you she was intelligent. Yes. They call me Galoria. They call you what? Galoria. 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 Pussus Galoria. Pussus Galoria. Pussus. I love the way you do that again. Pussus. One more, then one for the road. Pussus. Pussus Galoria. <laughs> yes. I'm an expert in espionage. I... In my field, I stand up. Oh, no one would dispute that. <laughs> Oh, 
I shouldn't have said that. It just slipped out. Did you know I wish I'd been there when it happened? <laughs> Come to pusses. Excuse me, I'm going to pusses. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You do something to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do things to most women. <clears throat> Actually. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In that case, you've come to the right man. Tell me. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> First on the left, down the corridor. Why don't we get a oh, little yes, more friendly? Oh, no, hi, then. Yes, why don't we get all friendly? Over a glass of wine. Glass perhaps? of wine. Little dinky. Little dinky doo uh, yes. Little dinky donk. But don't you bother yourself. Oh? I'll get it. Yes, so will I. I hope. <laughs> you know what she's after, don't you? This plan tucked under my girdle. <coughs> yes. Oh, it sticks out a mile. It does <laughs> too. Look, excuse me. The... Ah, come and sit by me. I'm going to puss us again. <laughs> there we are. And we'll get a little more. Comforting. Little more comfortable, yes. Little donkey doo does. <laughs> uh, do that pusses bit. I like that. Pusses. <laughs> yes, eh? Pusses, pusses, pusses. Yes. Dinky donks. Dinky. Dinky. Ah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. You know what she's going to do now, don't you? She's going to slip a drug in my wine. Look, 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 cheeky cat. Look at such a sword, isn't it? Look. Don't worry. I'll file her plan. I'm no fool. What? <laughs> We must be careful, mustn't we? <laughs> Time to signal something, perhaps. That's yours. Oh, this one. Ah, yes, of course. Oh, the herrings are flying high. <laughs> Dinky? Dinky, dinky donks. Dinky, donky, do da donks. Mm -hmm. uh, this mine? Yes. yes. Cheerio. Goodbye. You could say that, yes. <laughs> ah, that's it. Thank you so much. So, what was your little plan, was it? Hmm. Didn't work, did it? Your plan didn't work at all. Uh, you're feeling all drowsy, aren't you? You have a, a, a limp feeling going through your blood, your veins. <laughs> Don't you, eh? Your plan didn't work, did it? Ah, ah, your face is going hazy before my very eyes, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you're seeing all of the ceilings, aren't you? And, <laughs> and uh, drench the whole front and shh. <laughs> <laughs> And it came to pass out. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Look you. Look you. Come on. Oh. No, no. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. Do, do, have you been drinking? Yes. Drug you. you. You're supposed to be searching for the plan. Don't worry about the plan, Master. I've got it. I've got it. You have? Yes. Where? It's under me girdle. Oh, yes. splendid. You see what a magnificent fellow he is, Nauseous. The perfect slave. Oh, Master, it's gone. What? Oh, you incompetent clod. Oh, that girl. That girl must have stolen it. That pusses. Pusses? Yes. But that's the name of the woman I love. Pusses Gloria. Pusses? Do, 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 do you know where she lives? Yes, of course. In the apartment opposite the Newt Swine Lodge. Oh. The Newt Swine Lodge. Right. We must get there at once. Follow uh, me. We may yet find the plan. I'm well, not worried about your plan. She's pinched me bloody girdle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take advantage of the plot now. <laughs> master, come up. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Master, you're all right. That's it. Oh. Okay, there you go. Oh. Mine now, now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, I know that's nasty. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, yes. Oh, that's. Don't know. Don't laugh. It's wicked to mock the afflicted. <laughs> it's like sitting on a very thin horse. <laughs> oh, get a leg up. They're caught. Pardon? <laughs> 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 get up from the oh. 
that's it. Oh, what a relief. Yes, Master. It must be. Yes. Is this her apartment? Yes. These were her clothes. I can see the teeth marks. <laughs> Shh. She's in the bath. Yes. Ah, now's our chance to have a good look. Oh, yes. Yes, around, <laughs> around the apartment, ah. Master. Now, you take that half, I'll take this half. Good afternoon. <laughs> Seamus Bondus. Oh, no, no, get up. Look, that's, that's... Oh, God, dear. He's a dead loss, this. Oh, dear. <laughs> Master, look. Uh, Look, you! what but have you done? I haven't done anything, Master. Look, I'll open, the, get, well, I'll open the door wide. That's uh, right. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Master, come out of there. Now, I'm going! Oh. I'm going! <laughs> He's been gone 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh. Oh. Master, Master, let's get out of here. Yes. Gentlemen, good evening. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I suppose this plan is what you're after? Yes, please. Then come and get it. Oh, bag's eye. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no, please don't. Oh, no, please, I'm too young to die, please. We've got the rest of the series to finish. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Gloria! <laughs> Aha! Go, oh, yeah. you know, take your hands off my pussus. <laughs> Didn't it? <laughs> Quickly, look, you. Let me get the plan. Master, don't worry, I've already got it. <laughs> oh, it's still warm, too. <laughs> what a night. What a night. <gasps> well, thank goodness we got those plans back. Otherwise, there could have been the most terrible catastrophe. After all, it's the most original weapon ever invented. Well, let's face it, it hurls coconuts 25 feet. <laughs> I mean, what else could do that? We don't need volunteers, dear. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Oh, well, let's continue. The prologue. It came to pass. Whoa, whoa, a thrice whoa. Oh, dear, here she is again. The Etruscans are bombarding the city. They're bombarding the city? Yeah. Yeah, if they're bombarding the city, the end certainly is here, yes. <laughs> well, I must leave you. I'll leave you with the words of Plautus. Id hat hot fututum, titifolorum nauseum tabutu. <laughs> which loosely translated means one man's pusses <laughs> is another man's gloria. I'm going! I'm going! Uh, I'm coming I'm with going. you! Going. Salute! Salute! <laughs> Thank you. 